this is Jake from tnjgames.com. Today we're going to be playing Inescapable on Steam. Let's fire it up. This game sort of reminds me of Flashback, if you've ever played that. A um, little bit of that game and some, some Metroid kind of, Castlevania. Because you're, you're always revisiting old places that you couldn't get to before getting new abilities and stuff. Alright, we're going to go up here and search. I had to pick up this fuse. In case you can't tell, the main character is Morgan Freeman in a Mega Man suit. So that's cool. Oh god. Two minutes until the crew perish. Let's get the hell out of here. Several hours later, everyone's gone. Here I am by myself. Morgan Freeman, dressed as Mega Man, with no blaster cannon. Um, you gotta be careful in this first part because you will take falling damage and it's pretty severe actually um, but you'll get some like shock absorption in a little bit so just just chill it's cool So there's one of our dudes. He didn't make it, unfortunately. Damn it, Bennett. Alright, so now I got a bit of a shield. Not that there's any enemies to deal with yet. If you go down here, you'll see we got a cave, but we got debris. Head up this way, find another crash site, and there's some grenades. If you want to check them out right here, um, you can keep replenishing your supply. So, if you just want to see the animation and mess with them a little bit, this is kind of the one time where you can do that and keep getting them. Alright, once you've had your fun up there, go back down to that debris we saw. And let's slap a nade on it. Look at that. That's weird. I have a gun. I have a gun in my hand right now. But I do not have a gun in the game yet. That's kind of interesting. Maybe a note for the developer. Looks like it comes out when I throw my grenade. I don't know how the fuck I did that. It's not doing it now. Well, better get some more nades though. Since I used them all. Oh, game over. Just like that. The fragility of life. Alright, so we're back. Grab some more nades. So 
just go in here this time. Oh, I gotta blow it up again. All right. Push on through. Grab the first aid kit there. Head up to the second level. And we'll head outside and we will get the pistol. All right. Also, the shock absorption, so we can fall from greater distances without dying now, which we're gonna need. What's in here? Okay. Head to the basement. Take a left. And we gotta hit this button to turn on some generators or something. I love the climbing animation. It's funny. Head up to the top. Oh, it's kind of a tough jump there, be careful about you guys head to the back grab the key card make the jump yet again all right head over here select the ID card and use it and head down this way Lab equipment, yeah. Okay, we got the security key. Now we need to go back to the second floor. Do one of these. Bow. That was cool. And this one. Nope. Okay, second door here. Anything back here? No, oh, just that guy, okay. Head in here, go down, select your security key, open the door. Back outside, but not for long. Gotta fall through here. Splishy splash. Can't get anywhere to the left yet, but I'll show you just so you can make note of it. Eventually, you will get a double jump, and then you can make this. So, just kind of remember where it is. It's at the very beginning. It will probably be important later. Make our way to the temple. Okay, okay, okay. And these are not just for decoration, just so you know. Those spikes will hurt you. It's not by much. Not an instant kill, but something to be aware of. What's this? Alright, Helios cannot read that yet. Um, just so you know, I mean, most people might go there first. You just want to go this way first. Okay, okay, okay. Waste those fools. Now we've got a uh, Templeman's security card. 
and says research game a bunch of old rocks oh surprise we also got the ability for Helios to translate these uh, artifacts for us so if we want to see now what this tablet says okay so now we can kind of read those and get some more of the storyline which is actually pretty badass key card we'll go up here first I believe there's some crystals for the shields oh yeah crystal Another set over here. Ooh, two of them. Mm. Pretty good shape. Still got the first aid kit if I need it. Alright, we're in the temple. Go to the left first. If you go to the right, you'll just find a locked door, so... Hit these, both of these buttons. Fifteen shots to kill him. I just counted them. Fifteen shots. If you wanted to count, I guess. Alright, we'll head up here. Da, da, da. Some more storyline. These will reheal you. You can only use it once, though. Okay, there we see this is the key to the next door we have to get through, so a little ladder puzzle for you. Not really a puzzle, just use a little finesse. There's our gym. Go down here if you want some crystals, which I really don't need anymore. Pretty close to full, but we'll grab them. Now we're completely full. Okay. We'll head back up here, and it's just going to drop us right to back to where we first entered the temple. I would say to make a note of this, but I've revisited here with a double jump and there's just a dude up there and nothing else as far as I can tell, so just a whole lot of disappointment. Okay, I'll head back this away, open that door. And the, e the enemies are really easy to deal with at first, but you start to get more of them and different abilities later on. And it picks up, gets to be kind of a challenge. We're just gonna go through this room, hit all the buttons. I believe there's three of them that we need to get. No, maybe four. Uh, we'll see. Three, yeah, it's three. I was right. Now we can go dance with the devil. Fifteen shots. Get the key. Head back up here. Open. 
open it now. Now we see a new enemy, the screamers. They make some pretty creepy sounds. Just takes one shot for those, so they're not too bad, but the patterns are pretty well made. They, they dodge around you pretty good. It's a challenge for the most part. Okay, large concentration of energy coming here. We don't know the purpose, but there's a lot of energy. So, maybe make a mental note of that part, too. Can't get there yet. Oh no, there's a door, I need a key. But I didn't see one. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit top. I haven't slept. So bear with me. Got my key. Open that shit. This is where it starts to get fun. Low gravity boosters. That's a double jump. That's a double jump. Really like the movement in this game. It's all really fluid. Feels nice. All right, we got the double jump. We got the pistol. I think this just opens. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Just opens it if you're on this side. A new enemy. Now that guy, he'll shoot fireballs at you too, so. Little deviation. I think it takes four shots to kill him instead of the two for the others. I know I can get up here. There we go. This door has a snake symbol, so remember that. Here's some storyline. Here's one with the moon! And there's a pedestal. A pedestal with a square depression, door with a moon symbol, and a blank wall that we can't open that side anyways. Uh, there's just a pointless spot right there. No purpose to it. Another door. They like doors in this game. I like doors too. Now this is kind of a puzzle here. You can't kill this guy because you need him. So keep him alive and you just kind of chill out over here till he comes to that pedestal opening the door so you can shoot this fool little waiting game shoot quick and you can kill him the first time around let's see if I get him here Yep, okay. Now we can go over here and wait. <clears throat> I 
Here it comes. Is it coming? Okay. Pop in, get the key, run out. For some reason, this one keypad right here is like more sensitive than the others. You have to stand just a little to the left of it. Fuck. I just used my first aid kit. <laughs> Alright. New weapon. The prototype. So, this shoots in kind of a three burst. Directional. But, at the cost of your shield. So, use sparingly. Um... Eventually, the enemies will drop crystals for your shield. And it, I mean, it seems, you really seem to be making about as much as you spend to kill them. So, that's not that big of a deal. You're not really losing shield by using the gun at that point. Uh, here, you just have to kind of play with the gravity um, to move downwards through these updrafts. You can go to kind of the strongest part in the draft and then shift a little. That'll let you move downward. So we do that again. Shift. Fall. Little storyline. All right. You can, let's see, uh, uh, didn't want to go up there yet. Shift and fall, shift. Come on. <laughs> Oi. There we go. Fuck. All right. Gold medallion engraved with a moon symbol, moon emblem. Fuck. Okay. All right. See, now we get the crystals for these assholes. So. If you wanted to use your prototype gun, uh, you'll charge back up pretty quick. Do not attempt to cross this water. You can't hold your breath for very long, and you will die. Alright, we got our moon emblem. That's all we came for for now. Head back up the shaft. And we'll go back this way. Fuck are you? Fuck are you? And you? Keep it going, keep it going. Run on through and now back to the pedestal. Moon emblem, moon door. Do you see? Pop in the dough. These are on timers here. So watch yourself. I don't know if. Uh, <laughs> 
Oh, nice. Okay. I was just coming to check to see if I could tell if it was all spikes down there or not. All right. Back to business. This part. Fuck. We just kind of got to time it, but these assholes. And it's not quite so easy. There are spikes down there, so don't fuck around. Time it just right. Oh, nice. I am a fucking action hero. Alright. Again, you cannot stay under the water for long, so haul some ass. Move your shit. hit this button I'll bet you can guess what it did head back out oh water level dropped haul some ass again move it move it move it move it move it, move it. all right come on through I bet there's another button in here. There's a little El Diablo. Pretty easy. Thanks for putting him where he can't even hit me. I can just cheap shot him. Splash! Very enthusiastic splashes. I love it. Pop that open. Oh, what's this? Now we can breathe oxygen for, we can breathe underwater a little longer. Okay. Oh, what's this? Partial email. Okay. Blue world, blue world. I'm blue. Walls are blue. Bush. All right, how convenient. We are right by the water that we can now cross. A splash. Uh, I wanted to double jump that. I'm gonna go back so I get more distance before I run out of oxygen. There we go. That's better. That's better. Now haul ass. Come on, dude. You can't breathe underwater. We're, we're Stop fucking around. Go, 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 go. Okay. What's this say? <laughs> okay, watch out for all these bucks. There's quite a few of them, and you're on ladders the whole time, so be careful. Come on, don't lose your head. Come on. 
grenades. Okay, cleared those fucks out of the bottom there. Now we have some more buttons to push. One is up at the very top. Very top right, I believe. Sometimes these currents just don't want to work with you. Okay. draft there is too strong to go down with our own body weight but what's this an empty clay pot okay so you got the pot now pay attention here because I wasted so much time with this that just kind of looks like a puddle and I didn't know what the pot was for and if you just stand in here the pot doesn't react with it so, after I went out of this room, I started to think about filling it up with water, and I ran all the way back to that huge uh, kind of lake that I had to cross earlier, and then I tried to make my way back with the jug, which is nearly impossible, because every time you take a, a hard fall or get take any damage, you spill the jug. So... All you have to do is just duck right there. That's it. Right where you get the jar, right where you need it, you just duck. Now you can slowly fall. You see the, the jar emptied itself. You want to go to the right first here. Come on, true. Asshole. Explodes goodness everywhere. I like that your bullets will carry off the screen. That's kind of cool. Lots of times that's not the case. An onion! It's not an onion. It is a bird ring, dumbass. Snake symbol on this door. Probably important. Remember where that is. I don't use my my second pistol very much at all. Probably should, but I haven't I also haven't really seen a need for it I mean, for the most part this stuff is pretty tame plus you've got a shield that you constantly recharge it's, I could stand for this to be a lot harder here's a good place for the photo. Okay. 
Hopefully it does get a lot harder. Another alien device. I don't know what those do. So if they do have a function right now, I don't know of it. So I don't think they do though. I would guess it would be a little more obvious when we can interact with those. Okay, so we'll head up here. Da, 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 da. Oh! Usually when you get ambushed like that, it normally means you're probably going in the right direction, I guess. At least in this game. Okay. Go through here, we've got a pedestal. This one has a sun symbol. Bird ring doesn't work here. Just so you know. It does open this for us though. Which is just another drink of health and that's it so head back out here crystals I don't need it at all but it was there so I took it it was shiny How about this? Just a dead end for no reason. I do not get it. There's a lot of those in this game. Maybe room for expansions in the future? Who knows? Maybe this will be a door in the future or could still be part of this game for all I know. I haven't played it too much yet. I've played this same part over a few times, but I haven't really got that far. Here, you just gotta light all the torches up. That opens the door. And we're right back to where we started. This old familiar room. And this is also where I'm going to end this video. So consider this part one. We'll do uh, part two in the near future. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. You can check us out on tnjgames.com. Um, thanks. Mm -hmm.